hello wonderful people welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to be learning how to cut a cow neckline with freehand pattern so this, this video is just majorly explaining about the basis of cutting a cow neckline you can now choose whatever you want to make use of it for whether a gown with cow neckline or a top with cow neckline so we are going to be drafting the back pattern first and i'm trying to create my workspace and to know the workspace you are going to be working with you are going to divide your bust into four and you add some few inches to it you can add like extra five inches to it then after i'll mark my length so your length can be the half length of your clothes that's if you are sewing a gown and it can be a top length or anything then afterwards i'm going to mark my zipper line so cow neckline is not really compulsory it has a back zipper if you are making a top like a free top there's only for you to add a zipper to it but if you are making a close fitted clothes you had a zipper to it then afterwards i'll mark my shoulder my measurement divided by two and i'll add half inch to it then i'll come down from that point for my shoulder slope then i'll also mark my back neckline the width is 3.5 inches while the length is one inch then i'm going to curve it and rule the necessary lines as shown in the video Then afterwards, I'm going to calculate my arm O measurement. That is my bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches. Then I'll rule the arm O length. For the arm O curve, I am going to divide my bust by 4. And I'm going to mark what I get. And I'll join together to the arm O length. Then I'll come out by 1 inch so I can curve my arm O. Remember, this is a back pattern so the procedure of getting your ammo is different from the front then afterwards i'm going to contour my back zipper and i'm making use of 0.75 inch for this specific dress and i'm going to now mark my new zipper line by the time i'll return the 1.5 inches it will be a new measurement if you don't understand this i'm going to drop a link where you can see how to draft a basic bodies now after from that new back zipper line i am going to impute our body measurement so i'm not adding that to these bodies so i'm just imputing the waist measurement and the bust measurement and i'm adding allowance to it immediately then on the shoulder line i'm going to add my half inch sewing allowance because that's what we're going to use in joining the front shoulder to the back shoulder now i'm going to pin the clothes Reason being that we are going to make use of this back pattern to draft the to cut the front pattern. Then now I'll cut. But for now, I'm not going to cut the zipper line yet because we want to make use of it to draft the front pattern. So now I'm going to place the back pattern on another fabric. This fabric I made sure it, it was on fold and it is at least eight inches wider than the back pattern as in i added extra eight inches on the width area as you can see in the video then please watch the way i cut through so that part which i i cut the front pattern the, the neckline using the back pattern is not really compulsory you can just slant your hand straight into the shoulder line that one is if you want a deeper neckline but if you don't want a deeper neckline just cut the shoulder line and cut out the other shapes of the fabric it might look awkward but trust me you are going to get a re good result as you can see here in the video so i'm now going to trim off the excess at the zipper area that we contoured that we didn't cut earlier then i will cut it so that it can be in tune and now i'm going to cut my lining for the back pattern so it's not necessarily you had lining to the fabric because some fabric lining doesn't work well with them. So for such kind of fabric, all you just need to do is to use a bias strip or cut a facing for it. Also for the front pattern, it's not really necessary you add a lining to it. If you don't want to add a lining, you can cut out a facing for it. And that facing, make sure it is at least 8 inches long. So now we are going to sew our clothes. And to, I'm going to start with the front pattern. I'm going to join it at the neckline area. Please, the neckline, don't sew the shoulder line. It can be a bit confusing, but please remember that there's a shoulder line there. Then after, I am going to top stitch on the lining. From the wrong side, I'll top stitch on the seam allowance and on the lining so that it will help the neckline relax well. Then I'll also notch and I'll make sure that the notch is neat. That is what I'm showing here. So afterwards, 
I am going to join the, attach the lining on the sides, on both sides. I will arrange it and attach it, then flip to the right side. So here I have done that and I've ironed it. And you can see that it is looking neat. And when you drape the neckline, you will see that the cow neck is showing. The effect of the cow neck is actually showing. Now let's do the back pattern. So I'm going to pick one piece and one lining and I'll arrange it together right side facing right side of the lining. Then I'll join it on the neckline using half inch sewing allowance. And afterwards, I'm going to notch them. So this will help the back neckline to relax well. So I'll notch it, but please do not let it cut through the thread. I'll gently notch them. And now I'm going to flip open and I will top stitch on the seam allowance and on the lining. So this way, the lining won't be jumping to outside, like on the neckline. It will be able to be stable. It will not be jumping up and down. Then I will join it on the sides. As you can see, I've gone ahead to join it on the side using half half inch allowance. Then that point where the neckline and the side join together, I will notch a bit. The reason why we notch is to make the zipper line relax as in well relaxed and it should not be too bulky so as you can see i'll turn it to the right side and i'll give it a good press so i've gone ahead to iron it and the next thing for us to do is to mark our zipper allowance so remember the zipper allowance is 1.5 inches but i've used half inch to turn the lining together so we have one inch left so i'm going to first pin them together then i will mark my one inch Remember, we contour the back zipper, so you can't expect it to be straight. So you have to take your time to mark the one, one inch down, as shown in the video. So now I will go and sew it, and I will join the back pattern to the front pattern. I will join them together on the shoulder and on the sides. So the cow neckline is very much ready. You can join the skirt pattern of your choice and sleeve. So thank you so much for watching my video, and see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye. Oh.